So there are a few things that are really cool about Flash Power Tools. And for this demo, I'm not going to rig the whole character. I'm just going to rig her arm. So one of the first things that we'll want to do when we're setting up the rigging is, of course, to create a symbol. And again, for uh, this perp for this demo, I'm not going to um, name it properly. I'm just going to uh, leave it with a default name. So I'm just going to quickly hit the F8 key and convert it to a symbol. Uh, there are a few different ways to do this next step. Um, but what I like to do is just manually move the registration point to what I believe is the center. And then I'll check it and make sure that the rotation is in the middle of the circle. And I have my snapping on, so that should help me. In this case, I see that it's not somehow it's snapping to the other object. So I'll turn that snapping off and just eyeball it. I'll just go ahead and turn it back on. So that's still not quite on there. Okay, that's good enough for me. And then finally we'll hit the center point in the middle of where the circle is going to rotate. Awesome. So that is actually a really important step because the next part of the rigging process is a little bit tricky. Um, what we'll want to do is we'll want to go to keyboard shortcuts and we want to change the keyboard layout to EDAP CC shortcuts B5. This is part of the secret sauce of being able to rig quickly. And once we have those keyboard shortcuts activated, we can access a, a new command panel. So one of the first things that we we'll want to do, you'll notice that the this little plus sign indicates that that registration point is in the upper left part of the symbol. We will want to move that to where our pivot point is. So we'll get a dialog box, hit OK. And if you notice, that plus sign is now in the middle of that. That's going to help the plugin uh, locate the proper um, pivot area. And the hotkey for that is Control T. But I'll use this um, menu one more time. Control T. Okay. So now we have that reg point. I don't know if you can see it any better. Uh, kind of the, the downside of, of switching the keyboard shortcuts to the EDAP ones is um, a lot of my normal uh, shortcuts are not going to work. So that is a little bit of a trade-off, but it's worth it. Uh, so anyway, I just want to show you that the reg point is now, the reg point is now um, where that pivot point is. So that's extra cool. And then one last time for this demo, um, we're going to use the command. I'm going to use the hotkey this time, control T. And so now that reg point pops over to, to there. So that's extra cool. So now the next part that we need to do, so we will need to add center markers and registration elements. So let's go ahead and do that uh, from the command menu. So the first thing we want to do is create a magnet target. So that is created here, and we we'll want to move that no, we can move that over here. This is going to be where this is going to rotate for the next symbol. All right, moving right along. The middle one is going to need two things. It's going to need a, a center. Sorry, it's going to need a magnet target. And hold up. You know what? I actually use the shortcut key, which is Alt tilde. Um, the main difference here is there is a blue element and a red element. So the blue is going to go um, to the base of wherever our element is going to pivot at. 
and the red is going to be connected to the next guy in line. Hold up. Um, there will be a dialog window that will confirm um, or that will let us know if it's not close enough, but since we know we're going to need it, let's go ahead and try to get it as close as possible. This symbol only needs the the blue thing. I, I, I forget what they what they are called. And you'll notice that when it's created, it'll it's created right where that registration point is. Um, we're most of the way there now. Um, the next thing we want to do is go to Window Extensions Smart Magnet Rig, and we will want to create a little skeleton that this chain of symbols is going to be mapped to. So obviously right now nothing is going to be connected. Now that we have all the elements ready to, to go, we want to map them to a skeletal system. And for this example, I'm only going to rig the arm. So the first thing we want to do is create a name. So we'll call it girl arm. Um, and again, in this example, if we were going to map the entire uh, character, we should probably do everything all at one time. Um, but again, for this example, I'm only going to do uh, this chain here. Um, so using this symbol here, we can grow things out. So this is going to be the forearm, and this is going to be the hand. Once that's done, we will want to associate each symbol with the appropriate node here. So I'm going to select, and we're going to use that, uh, we're going to do that with the tagging. So we want to associate this bicep with that. Next, we want to associate the forearm with this next part. And then finally, we want to associate the hand with this end part here. Now, all the trouble and effort that we went through to create all those little objects inside of here. Once that's done properly, that makes this mapping process go wonderful, wonderfully smoothly. So now, uh, let's pay uh, careful attention here. The keyboard shortcut is G. And once we have this now, we will be able to manipulate and see the rig in action. So that's extra cool. Um, one other note is um, if you just click and drag with the, um, the smart magnet rule, uh, smart, the smart magnet tool selected, um, it will lock the um, angle of these joints. But if you hold the Alt key, this will rotate much like an FK style model. Another thing that I want to point out really quick is notice that even though we have three symbols here, this is all only on one layer. So that's, I think that's pretty fantastic, right? That we, even though um, we still have this, these hierarchies and these connections created, this is still happening on one layer. Well, that's not going to work if we want to use any kind of tweening, right? Because uh, in order for us to get a computer-assisted tweens, we will need to move those to other layers, but that's pretty easy, right? We just select all those, right-click, and distribute to layers. And so now we have each of those um, pieces on their own layer. Um, there's a few other things that I can uh, talk about. The last thing that I'll show you, though, is when it comes to adding keyframes, um, we are still in these kind of strange shortcuts, and we have to use those shortcuts to um, create extra keyframes. I'll just demonstrate this really quickly. When it comes to adding keyframes, I like to do it from the context menu here. Um, I normally like to use keyboard shortcuts. Um, I just want to insert frames so that everything is still there. And when you want to um, keyframe the arm, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can hit the X key, so that's cool. Um, or again, you can use the context menu there. 